if I look like a mess, it's because it took me longer than I expected, but we finally got it done. The floors are pretty much in. Welcome back, everybody. Happy New Year. This is the uh, first video of 2022 on the bus. This week is gonna be pretty crazy week, getting back into the swing of things. What I gotta do is take care of all the wires in the back, cause I'm trying to you know, clean that up. I gotta install the rear license plate light, and then I also gotta fix, sorry for the noise, it's the foam, but I also gotta wire these up uh, for this week. And then um, I was gonna do the floors today, but I can't because I need help taking the four by eight sheets and putting it on the table, uh, the table saw, and then cutting it. So, but I can tape up everything on the ground uh, with that aluminum tape in between the wood and the foam, and then just pretty much tidy everything up because, oh, excuse me, because once I tidy everything up, like the wires. Um, wiring this in the back, uh, cutting those things, and putting the floors in. Um, we should be able to start putting on the framing, uh, and Emily can do that whenever she comes back, because while she's doing that, I'm gonna be working on the top um, roof deck. So there's a lot to do this week, but first things first, we gotta start off with tidying up the wires. wires as best as I could. I know it doesn't look pretty, but this is all gonna get hit in once uh, this whole thing gets spray foamed. So this wire right here, I still gotta tape that in the back. And these wires are kind of taped up together. Uh, you got these ones that are taped up together, and then you got those ones that are taped up together. And while I was at it too, uh, Emily had ripped off the old uh, door sealant thing. All right, so. I just found out that this is the wrong size. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, I had to buy new ones, but this is what I bought. Oh, there's a bee. Don't come in here. Okay, so I bought this thing, this little rubber uh, gasket or this rubber sealant thing that goes around the door, but I'm literally looking at it right now. So if you pull the door a little bit tighter, there's still some space. There's still space in between it, so. I gotta get a new one. Um, that's okay, cause it was actually short by like three, four feet. So I guess I gotta buy a thicker boy. And then, um, yeah. But I finished what I needed to do today, at least for the back. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna work in the front cause I gotta go to a wedding reception right now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. It's actually been two days, but Today, I'm gonna to be finishing up the last little things that I gotta do in the front. Um, and by the front, I mean the engine bay because I don't know if you guys heard whenever we turned it on, there was that little knocking noise. It was like tick, 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 tick. Uh, that's because the fan is hitting the shroud because I think I put it back a little bit off. So I just gotta fix that. It's not too much of a, of a, a hard fix. And I'm also adding another um, headlight. What do you call it? It's like a headlight frame thing. This thing right here, the retaining ring. Oh, you guys can see that. Boom. Yeah, I'm going to add that because the other one, uh, the bottom parts where the screw goes through broke off. Um, I tried to fix it with JB Weld, but oh well. So I just got to fix that. And then that means the engine should be good to go after that. And then I'm going to work on the inside of the bus. So just try to knock that out real quick and then keep on pressing forward. All right, y'all, so I just turned it on because I wanted to see where the shroud was hitting. Um, and I was also spinning the fan because I was like, oh, well, let's see like where it's, uh, where I hear like a little scraping noise, but she sounds like a beaut, man. So 
so I guess I don't have to uh, try to fix it because this has been on for maybe five minutes already and I haven't heard anything so we're good all right guys so the first thing that I got to do is sweep up the little foam like these little small foam things that are just kind of everywhere um, before I apply this uh, the reflective ugh, reflectix foil tape um, and we're just gonna put them around here we're just gonna put them in between um, the insulation and the wood uh, just so that you know uh, heat doesn't uh, come through or the cold doesn't come through as much. Uh, it'll help it out a little bit. It's nothing super crazy, but uh, it's just peace of mind. So yeah, let's uh, sweep it up, get that done. The floor is done. The floor is finally finished taped up everything it took longer than I expected um, but got it finished and there's only one square that I haven't uh, taped around it's because that's where the hole is to where the water pump is not water pump the fuel pump is um, above the fuel tank so I gotta figure that thing out because I still want it to be accessible so now that I finished this the only thing that I got to do left is literally measure and cut today the floors are going in Gonna go do some measurements and then gotta start cutting. everybody we got the first piece of flooring down uh, that table saw is a G but our um, our insulation is a little bit thick so I don't know if you guys see this little gap right here but what I'm gonna do is put spray foam insulation under it cut it out make it flush and then screw it even though this is not gonna move but uh, I just want to make sure that it's completely secure but good to go we have a couple more to go and then the floors are going to be in so let's get to it It's because it took me longer than I expected, but we finally got it done. The floors are pretty much in. Um, I just got to screw it on tomorrow and then just do a couple more things about that gap that I explained earlier. Uh, but uh, this is such a big step. This is finally starting to come together. But if you guys want to follow us on our Instagram, we do a lot of uh, more up to date stuff there. Subscribe if you haven't yet because that helps the channel out. And if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up because then that tells the algorithm like hey someone liked it Boop. but it gets pushes up it's gonna help us out so thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next one because it's just gonna start getting better from here peace